AITA for telling my brother that if our stepsister aren't his siblings then neither am I. My. 19F. Mother got married to my stepfather three years ago. He has two daughters. 13, 9. And I love them and don't even call them stepsisters. My brother. 16M. Never really accepted our mom remarrying. Or the move to a new town and school. Even though we were much better off money-wise. He still calls our stepfather his mom's husband. I just call him my dad. Bio dad's a cheating slimeball. He never listens to a thing dad says. Which means he's spent most of the last two years grounded. And he refuses to even call his sisters his stepsisters. They're just his mom's husband's kids. He openly says he has no love for them. That he never will. And even said when he has his own family he'll never invite them to anything. I got sick of this during winter break when I was home again. I told him they're his sisters as much as I am. And if he doesn't consider them as such then I'm not his sister either. I told our parents I'm not coming home for spring break this year. And that until he fixes his attitude and apologizes I'm not going to be in the same room as him. Apparently he decided to go live with sperm donor. And at his age the courts will basically let him. If that's the company he wants then I say good riddance. But mom's been pretty upset about it. Still I don't think I was wrong. But it's possible I went too far. YTA. Some people consider step-siblings to be their siblings. Some don't. Who are you to decide your brother has to consider them siblings? Who are you to decide who he calls dad? You sound so self-righteous it's disgusting. He doesn't consider his stepdad to be his dad. And that's fine. He doesn't consider his step-siblings to be his siblings. And that's fine. Do you really think that you somehow get to decide these things for him? That just because you've embraced them with open arms means he automatically has to as well. Get over yourself. The truth is that your step-siblings are not as much his sisters as you are. He does not consider them siblings. And all you're doing is ruining your relationship with him. Trying to erase your bio dad from your brother's life is not helpful. You and your mom and her new husband have harassed him so much that he left. He's spent most of the last two years grounded for not dropping the step. They're literally his step-siblings. That's nothing to punish him over. And you come in saying that you're basically done with him if he doesn't conform to your idea of family? You're awful. And from your post it's not like your bio dad was abusive. He cheated on your mom. Which, yeah, sucks. He shouldn't have. I personally hate cheaters. But that has no actual bearing on how he is as a parent and your brother is 16. He spent three years being punished by you and your mom for his feelings. Of course he's choosing to remove himself from that situation. I hope he has a great time living with your dad and forgets all about you and your step-siblings. YTA your behavior here is just as extreme as your brother's behavior. If not more extreme. And no. He's under no requirement to call his stepsisters his sisters. He is allowed to feel differently than you. And your emotional blackmail is a terrible way to handle this. YTA for the sole reason that you don't get to dictate. 1. How your brother handles the divorce. 2. How your brother handles the remarriage. Or. 3. How your brother relates to the steps IBS. Edit to add. On the whole, you're less of an ass than brother. But you asked for judgment on the one issue. Second edit. Op. What had your brother done to get grounded? It sounds like your experience and his in the blended family are not the same. And a 13-year-old boy is not likely to appreciate being told to welcome two kid sisters. I'm beginning to think your brother isn't an ass. And you ought to look at how he's been treated in this new family. And have some empathy. Sperm donor? Wow okay. Gotta be some backstory there that's not told but sure. 
How your brother feels and interacts with his bonus family is frankly none of your business. All you've managed to do is push him further away and robbed your mother of her son. Perhaps there is a lot more going on that's not being said but from what I can see. YTA. YTA. Because you were practically an adult while your brother was a preteen when your stepdad came into your lives you have vastly different relationships and experiences with the new family. Hence your brother being grounded all the time during a very important developmental stage in his young life. What you said to your brother was beyond cruel. Not to mention absolutely absurd because it's simply not true. He's only 16. He's still a child and you're being needlessly hurtful to him. You cannot force or bully him into loving people he doesn't love. He's allowed to have different relationships with different dynamics than you. Including with his father. You owe him a huge apology. If it's in your heart to do so. Which I doubt it is. Start spending more one-on-one -on -one time with him. But without the odd judgments. YTA blended families are complicated. Often when the kids are already teenagers they don't develop any sibling-like feelings. You have no right to force these relationships on your brother or treat him like he's a bad person. Because he doesn't feel the same way as you. TBH it feels like you are bullying him about it. YTA he doesn't need to accept step-siblings and it's cruel for you to put your relationship as an ultimatum for him to do so. YTA. That's great that your mom's remarriage works for you and you have a good relationship with your stepdad and steps IBS yay for you. But that is your experience. Not your brother's. He was at a different age than you when this happened. And has had different interactions with stepdad, sibs. You cannot know if they have been good like yours. Or not. Even if they are good. Your brother still has the right to not like these people that your mom's decision has put him in contact with. You really need to grow up and support your brother even if you don't agree with him on this one. Have you ever tried asking him why he feels the way he does? It might be informative. YTA not up to you to decide how he feels. You can't make someone love the new man in his mother's life as dad, when he doesn't see it the same way you do. So this young man is already feeling alienated in his own home gets further dumped on by his older sister. Good job on you right? And as you pointed out your bio dad is no real prize. Why should he trust his mother's judgment on the second husband? My advice is to get over yourself. And if you care about your brother at all try and reach out about his life and leave the step. Situation out of conversations. It's okay to agree to disagree. YTA. Let's see. Your brother had to move to a new town and start a new school. Leaving his dad. Home and friends right around starting high school. Everyone is trying to force him to treat his stepdad and stepsisters like they are his real dad and sisters. He has basically spent his mom's entire marriage grounded because he won't treat his stepdad like his dad. Give the kid a break. Your family has to realize that it was your mom's choice to get remarried. Move to a new town. Put him in a new school. Etc. He had no say in any of it and now everyone expects him to be happy about it. I'm not saying your mom should not have gotten married. She deserves to be happy too. But none of you have any right to force your brother to pretend to be happy about it. Except the fact that everything in your brother's life changed and he doesn't have to like it. And your mom should be handling discipline. Not your stepdad. The more you try to force it. The more he is going to push away. Maybe he would treat everyone civilly if everyone stopped trying to force him to consider his SD as his dad and his ss as his sisters yta way to help your brother adjust no wonder he doesn't want to be there you're technically the adult but aren't acting it you can't force a relationship 
YTA. Stop trying to control other people's relationships. His mother's husband's kids is exactly what they are to him. There's no law saying he had to accept any of them. This was your mother's choice. Not your brother's. YTA. He's obviously not ready to accept the step family and you are pushing way too hard. YTA. YTA. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the only thing he did that was actually wrong. Was not listening to your stepfather? And without understanding the context behind that. Not even sure if I can say it's wrong. Sounds like you're trying to be on a moral high horse. He doesn't have to call him dad nor love him. Just needs to show him respect. He doesn't need to call your step-siblings his sisters nor love them. Just needs to show them respect. He can enjoy his father's company. Even if you don't agree to it. YTA so you're throwing away your brother or at least giving ultimatums for not accepting as siblings. People who came part of his family at 13. You were in fact very wrong and went far to far. YTA. Who are you to determine how he feels and who he should consider family? Just because you call your stepfather dad does not mean he has to call him dad as well. He doesn't have to consider your stepsisters his sisters just because you do. Stop forcing and dictating what your brother has to do for your comfort. YTA it's really nice that you have a close relationship with your stepfather and stepsisters. But you cannot force your brother to have the same feelings. It sounds like the divorce affected him differently than you. And he is younger and still struggling. Instead of giving him a little grace. And working towards a more harmonious home. You've essentially ostracized him to the point where he moved out and in with your bio father. YTA. You don't get to say how someone else should feel. Just because you feel that your stepdad and stepsisters are family. It doesn't mean that he has to. You can't force love or relationships with someone else. Whether you like it or not. Your brother does not consider your stepfather and stepsisters as family and he does not have to. It's a personal choice on how you accept stepfamily and it's not for you to say someone else is. Wrong for having a different opinion to you. YTA If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.